Hello, this is Jerry again. Um, this video, I'm gonna go through all the things about the MG Pilot. Um, so, including MG Pilot itself, um, adaptive cruise control, and departure warning, land cap assist, and pre collision warning, emergency braking, plus uh, speed assistance systems, and your blind spot detection systems. Uh, so, this particular vehicle I'm using today for building is the MG HS PHEV. This is a top spec essence. Uh, but all the features should be the same across the range from MG models. Um, you may have things like MG ZS, you may have MG ZST, you may have MG HS. In some other countries, you may have eight, um, MG Hector. So there are different models trains, uh, but the logic behind this is all the same. And I believe all the controls are pretty much the same as well. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it. So first thing you'll notice um, on the screen itself, no matter which particular vehicle you're on, uh, you always have these car settings. So you're going to tap these car settings for us. Now it normally shows the first um, thing as speed assistance systems. So basically, as all the vehicles on MG vehicles um, at the front dash uh, or on top of the basically the windscreen, you will have a big sensor. So the sensor will uh, do all the monitoring system for you uh, in terms of the speed assistant or the MG pilot. So let's go into the first one, speed assist systems. Uh, so this particular system works when you have this function on. So speed information warning, it is on at the moment. And you can now see on my dashboard, uh, this particular system is on, it's ready to engage. Obviously at the moment, doesn't show anything. Uh, what that means is when you push this on, uh, the, the screen um, will have display your speed limit controls. So if you go into different areas, let's say you're driving a countryside where the speed limit is 100Ks, uh, it's going to display on the top dash, it's telling you it's 100Ks in this particular area, as long as there are speed signs properly displayed the, when the vehicle goes through your speed, um, speed limit area. And next minute, we're going in city driving road, uh, your speed sign on the road will say 50, and the vehicle sen will use its sensor to pick up your speed limit. And then on the top dash again, it's going to display 50 instead. So once you're over that speed limit, uh, you will notice this particular sign will give you a breathing light. So it doesn't really give you warning, doesn't really do anything to flash into your face or anything like that, but it'll give you a very light breathing light telling you over that speed limit. Apart from that, it doesn't do anything. Uh, one thing we need to mention is although it's a quite good system to pick up speed limit, it's not going to be as accurate as human eyes. Uh, so things like very temporary signs or anything like that, it's it's very hard to, for it to, to the sensor to actually pick it up. So sometimes it may be wrong. Please don't fully rely on this. This is just purely for assistance. Second one, speed assistance systems. So at the moment it is off, so it doesn't do anything apart from reading the speed limit for us. And next minute, you can push, press it to menu. Uh, please also note this particular system systems will uh, can only have it on when your cruise control is completely off. So in all pushed in position, if I'm going to push press the cruise control back in, when the cruise control is on, is always ready to be engaged. This will automatically goes to off position, so it won't be to push it on. So to have these speed system systems on, we need to push this back, push this key, um, the cruise control lever all the way forward. So now that you can see it goes back to menu again. So what that means, you have the small description says you can manually set your uh, speed limit. Uh, how do you say speed limit? Uh, let's say 40k or 100k when you go into different areas. And that allows you to drive the vehicle still with brake and pedals. Um, but the vehicle does not allow you to go over that particular speed, whatever you set it on. And you can change your speed while you're driving or you can cancel the speed assistant whenever uh, you don't want it, basically. So now you can see we're on menu, then on the dashboard, there's a yellow light over there. Again, on different vehicles, it might show different here, but this is how the sun looks like with the yellow sun. That means your speed assist limit as, uh, system is on, is ready to engage. It doesn't give you speed assist limit as, as of yet, because you can see on the dashboard here, it says particular case per hour with absolutely no case yet. Then next minute, when you start driving the vehicle, what you need to do is simply tap the set button here, uh, to set a particular speed or go up and down to change your set speed. So I'm going to go up, you can see it's going to 30, going to 40, going to 45, for example. That allows the vehicle to change your, allows yourself, sorry, uh, to change your uh, speed limit, but it's not set yet. So you can see the orange light over there. And then you just simply tap the button on the set button, press set, then you can see it's green light. 
So now that means if I'm going to start driving now, the vehicle will allow me to drive just as normal. But when I reach 50k's mark, the vehicle give you a will give me a small alert telling you I'm I'm just on I'm just over going to be over my speed limit, which I particular set, and then uh, it doesn't allow me to go over that 50k's. And the only way to to temporarily go over that 50k's is you flow it on on the throttle. Otherwise, the vehicle will limit your speed at 50k as the exact, for example, at the moment. And to change that speed, simply pull up or down to change. It will go up by five. So I'm, I'm going to go up by 55, 60, 65. And if I pull up and hold, it goes through up five again, again, and again. And then when you are on speed assistance system, when this is manual on, and if you don't want it, you can simply just tap the set button again. At the moment it's on green, I'm going to tap it, it's on orange. That means the speed assist systems, speed assist systems, sorry for the language, and the, it is paused, it is ready to engage again whenever you are ready. So I'm, I'm still on 85, I'm going to just tap the set again, it will resume the speed uh, limit system, basically. Again, tap the set button again, it will be off. So that's how the speed limit system will work. And in any situation, if you do pull it back to cruise control, you can see the cruise control light comes on, that you won't be able to go back to speed limit again. So that's how that works. Push it back again, that's our menu again. So next one is intelligent. So obviously this is menu, we set our speed controls by ourselves, go up and down, press set, we're on intelligent. And this is more like an auto mode. So when you're on intelligent, it still shows this sun over there, um, that means the vehicle, you won't be able to set this anymore. The vehicle will basically pick up the speed uh, signs, just as what we here, we, we have on the on the dash. And then if you do go over that, if you do have that speed limit, let's say 50 k's in the, in the city road, um, it will automatically set your speed limit at 50 k's at whatever display over there. And then if you go over that 50 k's, the vehicle will give you a beeping sound, it will limit your throttle response. That does not allow you to go over that speed limit. And again, if you flow it for temporary, uh, it's just a temporary flow it or initial flow it, the vehicle will allow you to go over that 50k, then it will bring your speed back again, even if you, your foot is on the pedal. So that's how the intelligent works. Uh, again, because the speed information system uh, won't be the most accurate way compared to your human eyes, um, a lot of people wouldn't probably wouldn't like the intelligent. So I would say either stay at menu or stay at off. So again, up to your choice. Um, next one, it's your lane assist systems. So uh, lane system at the moment is off, so there's no light on the dash. What I'm going to do is just switch this off for now, otherwise we have too many lights on the dash. So lane assist systems, so at the moment it is switched off, uh, so it doesn't do anything, no light on the dash. But I'm going to press it on, now you can see the screen itself, jump back to the assistance system screens. On the left hand side, you get your warning light, that's your lane assist systems. So whenever you have orange light, that always means this function is ready to engage. It's not on, it is not engaged as of yet, um, but in different circumstances, uh, different conditions, it will meet the, um, how do you say, um, conditions, then it will be on, and then it will change to green. So at the moment it's orange, and you can see the second one, we are on a system mode, so it's on alert at the moment. Uh, what that means is, when you over when you're over 60 k power, when you start driving the vehicle, this is our vehicle we're in. The lens on the right, on the left, on the right, um, will be able to, and the vehicle will use its sensor to pick up the speed, uh, your land markings. And then, if you are likely to drift off your land markings, either go left or either go right, and the vehicle give you a beeping sound, which is alert mode, basically. Um, when you're over 60 k this will become green whenever the line marking are accurate and then the vehicle will tell you if you're in the your, your line marking or not. Um, so yeah, it only give you alert basically. But if we do change to departure assist, you can see now this light disappeared. We're gonna have another light over there. Again, on different dashboard, we'll have different settings of different light, but this should look the same, the signal basically. This means we are now having the alert as, as standard we also get a departure assist. So when you're over 60 k's, the vehicle again still pick up your line markings on the left and right. And then if you drift out your line marking, the vehicle give you a beeping sound, obviously alert. And then additionally, the departure assist will help you to try to keep you in the right center. So uh, let's say you are going to drift out the left and the vehicle give you a very turn, a very light turn to keep you in the right center. 
So just before you going on the edge of the landmarking, the vehicle give you a turn either left or right to bounce you into landmarking. But when you're in the right center, it doesn't give you anything. So this is called the departure assist. Then next one, this is more advanced. So this is called land keeping. So now you can see our signal still does remain the same. Our function still remain the same. Again, it's gonna give you alert. It's gonna give you balance before you departure your, your land. And then last one, land keep assist. Even if you're in the right center, as long as the vehicle pick up the landmark on the left and right, the st your steering will just steer for you to keep in the right center. Uh, so this is how that works with the land keeping. And um, in case you don't want the land keeping anymore, obviously you just press the off button. Another secondary button is on your indicator, uh, your low auto lights or indicator on the side of this. You can press this button to disengage your land keeping. So you do need the first initial tap, you won't be able to close it. Just second tap, you can close it. Now you can see that land keeping is gone. Our screen is gone as well for the assistance systems. And just press that button again. Now your my system is back in, that will be back in again. But this is only the secondary button that allows you to keep either alert or either departure is either land keeping on and off. Uh, if you, I press this off over here, or the, or the signal light will be off, I press this, how many times I press this, this will be, won't be engaged anymore. So in different scenarios, you may need to use this to just help with the, just the temporarily pause and close or temporarily uh, turn it off, turn it on for the land keeping. So how I think MG are doing this way is, Basically, let's say you're happy with the land keeping, you're just driving a motorway straight line, you just let the vehicle steer for you or cruise for you, and that's all good. But next minute, you're jumping off the motorway, you're going to a country road, which is very windy, you don't want the land keeping anymore, but you don't have time to go through the settings, go to the cars, go to this land keeping, go to this turn it off. Obviously, it's it's not going to be the easiest way and not going to be the safe safest way on, to drive on the mode, drive, drive on the road. You simply just tap this button, tap once, and then it disappears. You can see now, there's no land keeping. Type once again, when the next minute you're going back on motorway again, it is on. So that's how this button works. And this is obviously the secondary button uh, to switch it on, switch off temporarily. Yep. Uh, next one, auto bullet, it's off or it's on. So in most cases, when you switch it off, uh, even if you have alert, it's gonna pop up notification, but it's not gonna give you any um, how do you say sound to, to freak you out or anything like that. If you switch it on, it's gonna give you alert, basically. Um, next one is the alert sensitivity. So low, normal, high, that's purely change your alert and um, the, 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 the mute, how do you say, the alertation, basically. Again, you can change that whenever you like. So that's on the uh, alert sensitivity. Next one is your MG pilot. Uh, before we talk through the MG pilot, we're just gonna go through the adaptive cruise control. So no matter if this on and off, you can use your normal adaptive cruise control, just as what you expect on the new car. So because you have, again, you have front sensor at the front, so this vehicle does not only do cruise control, it will do adaptive cruise control. So I'm gonna zoom in. You can see this gear selector over here. Again, on the dash, we're just gonna take that Adapt, uh, the land departure warning off first. So you can see on the dash there's nothing, um, not no, no orange light going on. That means your your adaptive cruise control it is off at the moment when the when it's pushed all the way in. So it's at the off position. So if I pull it pull this back to this level, and this is on position. That means your cruise control is on. Then you can see on the dashboard you get orange light over there. It says your cruise control is ready to engage. Uh, cruise set at a particular case, it's not set yet, and then your vehicle is ready to do the adaptive cruise control with the bars at the front. And we jump back to this again, and then if I do want to start the cruise control, I'm gonna start driving at a particular case, obviously, and um, what I'm gonna do is simply tap the set button, the blue button on the side, just tap the set, it will set, set me at a particular case I was driving. So for example, um, I'm driving at, for example, 55, uh, where I press set, and then this light will light a, a green light instead, uh, telling me I'm set at 55, the cruise set will set me at 55K. And that means if the road ahead of me is all clear and my vehicle will drive on 55K. So that's how the cruise control works as a new normal vehicle. And because this has adaptive cruise control, you can actually change your distance between you, which is this vehicle and the front vehicle. So. If, for example, you can see this switch here, you can see go forward and backwards. This allow you to change the distance, which is a six signal here, to change the distance between you and the front vehicle. 
So how am I going to do it? I'm going to switch this forward or backwards and you can see the line change over here. So I'm going to do it backwards, forwards, you can see the line change, forward and backwards. So on this vehicle you have three bars, which is this one bar is sort of two second difference and that's more like a three second difference then this is more like four seconds difference. So that's how you change the distance between you and frame vehicle. So how that works is if I press the cruise control, I'm, I'm going to set my case at 55. If the road is clear, my car will drive on 55. But um, with the vehicle in front of you driving slower than your set speed, for example, 40 k's, uh, my vehicle will use its, its sensors again on, on the top windscreen to detect the vehicle in front of you. Uh, keep your safe distance. Uh, so, for example, I'm um, set at 55. The vehicle at uh, front, I'm mean, driving 40. So, my vehicle, I'm not gonna push the brake or push the accelerator. The vehicle will automatically slow down to 40 to keep your distance between you and the front vehicle. And if the front vehicle uh, goes slightly faster, your car will automatically goes faster. And if your vehicle goes slightly, uh, your vehicle, the front vehicle goes slower, and then our vehicle is gonna go slower. So yeah, that's how the adaptive cruise control works. And at any situation, if you do want to cancel the cruise control or adaptive cruise control, simply just put your foot on the brake, just push that in. Obviously, the, the light will go green to orange. That means your cruise control is paused, um, but it is ready to go again uh, because you still have the cruise control ready to engage. Then you just press, pull it back to resume position. You can see this, pull, pull it back to resume position resume your cruise control and again you if you don't want to tap the foot on the brake to cancel the cruise control well if the cruise control is on just type it forward it will cancel the cruise control so that's how that works with the cruise control and also let's say when you, my cruise control is set at 55 you can also use a switch to go up and down to change your set speed so just tap once goes up by fives so if i was at 55 just it now allows me to go to 60 go to 65 six, uh, 70 and 75 for example this goes down to 50 45 and 40 basically if you do want to change one by one just pull and hold it will, it will go gradually by one by one um, to for example 56 57 and 58 and oh, so on and again going down 54 53 52 and so on so that's how to set the cruise control and change the distance and resume and pause the cruise control also because again this has adaptive cruise control uh, your car can do actually do full speed cruise control so how that works is uh, even if you're set case and the lowest set case and you can do is actually 30 k's per hour but if the vehicle in front of you is um, going to drive at 30 and then eventually slow down to zero, your vehicle will automatically slow down to zero without you applying the brake. Um, and then when you come down to zero, uh, your cruise control will be just set, for example, 30 or 40, whichever you set previously. And when the vehicle in front of you moves uh, to, to allow your vehicle to move, there are two ways. Uh, if you slow down within three seconds, the front vehicle moves, your vehicle automatically resume back to cruise control uh, without you doing anything uh, it will resume back to go basically but if the vehicle in front of you doesn't resume uh, doesn't start driving within that three seconds so it stopped over for over three seconds um, the vehicle will go first and your vehicle does not move until you tell him tell it to, to go so to resume back to cruise control when you are when you are come to a complete stop or stationary to simply just pull it back to resume position or use your foot to tap the throttle just to give a little bit push as long as the vehicle start moving starting start going in motion your vehicle will automatically resume back to cruise control again which is on adaptive again so whatever you, you said previously on this for example you're setting on 40 come to a complete stop and wait for three seconds and then press the, press the pedal the vehicle will resume back to cruise control at 40 again following the front vehicle to do whatever he was doing basically so that's how you control the adaptive cruise control so that's that's the cruise control uh, so and then if we jump into the front screen you can see there's another individual feature called mg pilot so even if press this on or off it doesn't affect the uses of the cru adaptive cruise control but um, with the MG Pilot, this is a more advanced. So with the MG Pilot is on, what you want to do is you can pull um, as on the gear lever. So it's off position, that's switched off. There's no light on the dash. 
and then I'm gonna just pull it back to the cruise control settings and then if you tap twice just tap twice you can see here um, the traffic light basically comes on you can see just right here again on different dash it might be somewhere uh, so that means our MG pilot is actually on so how MG pilot works is and uh, again you can use the same motion as cruise control just press set the button go up and down change your speed twist it forward and backwards to change your distance and then permanently the vehicle will also steer your steering wheel, no matter what speed you are on let's say even if your uh, lane keeping assist is not on at the moment and the vehicle will steer for you even at you are driving at 30k you are driving at 50k for you so that does help with the lane keeping uh, even at low speed and then what your vehicle also does is if you come to a complete stop uh, no, no matter how long you have been sitting uh, behind the vehicle even more than three seconds the vehicle will automatically move forward releasing the pedal uh, without you actually touching anything uh, so that's how that works with the MG pilot again when the MG pilot is on it's on uh, when MG pilot is uh, ready to engage it is on orange uh, orange uh, yellow color and then when your MG pilot is engaged when you put the cruise control on uh, your vehicle this will show green light but if you do cross the line markings left and right your MG pilot will, will just go back to orange again so it will be a normal cruise control and it will say MG pilot quits or stops or whatever and then next minute when your land marking is accurate you're in the land again your MG pilot will resume again so that's how do you do the MG pilot basically um, yeah so that's the MG pilot again pull it twice to MG pilot and push it forward to, to cancel all the cruise control and MG pilot so I pull it back it's on adaptive cruise control I can do that just as we told you then pull it back so pull twice MG pilot is on then after that still use your cruise control just set go up and down twist and forward backwards your this adaptive cruise control will always on MG pilot so that's how the MG pilot works gonna just pull it forward uh, next one is your forward collision systems so again you have the older sensor at the front built on the windscreen and um, so the sensor will pick up the the, the how do you say road uh, conditions for you so first one is the forward collision systems so it is on at the moment how that works is if you're driving too fast into the front objective let's say a vehicle or a car or, or someone um, then uh, the vehicle will give you beeping sound uh, will also give you a flash indication on the dash telling you your front collision something like that information um, before you actually crash into something or someone and then if eventually you failed to stop as a driver the vehicle will eventually give you emergency braking as long as your second assist mode is selected as emergency braking but you, if you don't like the emergency braking you can also go to alert mode so it'll give you a notification say are you sure you want to go there just click confirm now you can see the auto emergency braking system is off uh, you only have an alert so it only give you beeping before you crash something or someone but it does not give you any assistance anymore on the brakes so that's how this works with the braking so that just give you an indication so normally it's recommended to just keep on emergency braking so there again no light that means your emergency braking is on basically uh, alert sensitivity sometimes you feel the alert is too sensitive to pick up so for example you turn on the corner but still thinks you are you're likely to crash into the road signs or anything like that you can choose to normal but if you don't if you like it you can choose to high or low basically and uh, next one pedestrian auto emergency braking it is on as well so how that works is um, the vehicle the sensor give you it's a wider view basically if someone gonna cross the street on the left uh, from the left or right from the right or to left and the again the sensor will scan the area it will think you are likely to crash into something or someone uh, even if sometimes you don't notice on the driver's side because again you get a big uh, air pillar over there and it will give you an alert just as this one how, how this works and eventually at the last very second the vehicle will give you emergency braking if necessary uh, so sometimes the emergency braking won't stop you to come to a fully stop um, because sometimes the vehicle you have a moving objective moving against in the in the same direction they only need to stop you um, so that's how the emergency braking works but most cases it will give you emergency braking, braking come to a complete stop and uh, to allow you to get yourself out of the danger basically so that's all this works next one rear driving assist so 
the whole rear driving assist is on, so that's how to turn off, turn off all these functions. This is the main, um, so the main control. Next one, blind spot detection. So it is on at the moment. On this particular vehicle, the indicator is inside the mirror, but on some of the vehicles, it will be on on the right hand side, uh, on the on the on the mirror, outside wing mirror with the indicator. How that works is you're traveling along and on your left and on your right in your blind spot there's another vehicle traveling behind you again if you're watching if you're clearly watching your view mirror uh, you'll obviously see someone else but just in terms of emergency security situation you don't notice someone this light will still light up when someone is at your blind spot uh, same against that light on the on inside the view mirror again some other cars will on, be on the view mirror um, so it will basically light up, telling you that on your um, on your blind spot there are some someone try coming in, uh, or there are something someone traveling behind you, just in case you do an emergency maneuver or something like that. So it'll give you a little bit more assistance on the road, so you, you feel that you see more. Lane change assist. Uh, so that means when you actually indicate it, uh, when someone actually is at your blind spot uh, normally the light will the light will give you a flashlight or will give you a sound to tell you that someone is at your blind spot i'll give you a light actually no sound sorry about that um last one rear traffic rear, rear cross traffic alert so how that works is when i reverse out the car park i'm gonna put the vehicle on reverse and then for example if someone is actually traveling behind me on the left or on the right and just across the across the how do you say across across the back of my sort of backing path uh, pathway and the the vehicle will basically basically give you indication either on the left or either on the right depends on which way it's going to go into and uh, telling you that you actually um, there's someone actually traveling behind you just in case you, you you are reversing too fast to crash into object to a crash into someone or some vehicle basically so that's the rear cross traffic alert again if you don't like any of this you can you're more than welcome to switch it off so yeah that's pretty much all about the mg pilot uh, all the and um, all the all these features should be again in your glove box in your menu if you do want to read through more um, but this is just a detailed tour to show you how everything works if you want to set it up or anything like that again these things will memory your settings whenever you jump in the vehicle it should memory your settings um, whenever you switch off switch on and again display anything on your dashboard for example cruise control for example land keeping everything will be on your dashboard if you have a light that means that function is on or that function is off something like that uh, any questions, please leave a comment or let me know and uh, I'll be able to answer all your questions. Thank you.